morning guys I am just uh, just made breakfast and I'm working on getting the vlog up so I the harbors hi hi <laughs> whenever the camera goes on her she she goes silent but Anywho, I am having um, egg whites. It always works out perfectly because Harper is only, I think once they're a year old, I'll have to look into it, but um, they're not allowed egg whites, only egg yolks. And so I take the egg whites and she takes the egg yolks. So we're able to kind of share the egg. And then I just had black beans left over from one of the dinners I made and some cherry tomatoes. So I chopped those up. I'm gonna put some hot sauce on it. Um, and then Harper is having her version. She has beans and tomatoes in hers as well, but hers is more scrambly, and it's making a mess. She doesn't like to wear a bib anymore, so there's that. All right, I am starting the upload of my first daily vlog, woohoo! <laughs> I have actually been hesitant to give Harper these little pouches, but thank you for showing me. Whenever I would just give her one, like she would squeeze it and it would go flying everywhere. But I saw a commercial saying that, I don't wanna grab it, this is so gross. <laughs> that Gerber had a smart flow thing that made it to where when they squeeze it, it doesn't go flying everywhere. So I decided to pick um, some up to test them out. And she does, she, like they don't even get on her clothes. She, I just give her, the entire thing and I haven't helped her or anything. I just gave it to her and she hasn't gotten it anywhere. It hasn't gotten on her clothes. She just absolutely loves it. Not sponsored, but I should be. <laughs> the only thing I kind of don't like about it is I don't think it's organic. Whereas up until now, I've always bought the organic one. So if you guys know of any of these like smart flow ones that are organic that I can just give to her. Okay, so now I have to clean. Um, Joe's brother Chris and his wife Alex are coming to just kind of spend the day with us. I don't know what we have planned, but my house is kind of a disaster. I have to clean up after breakfast and then I have a sink full of dishes that I need to do and I seriously need to mop or sweep and mop because I have not done that since we moved in. And it rained and we have dirt outside because we don't have our landscaping and that is something that is happening over the next couple of weeks and so we'll definitely take you guys along the process of going from dirt to grass and patio, so that'll be fun. But whenever it rains or anything like that, the dogs like track in mud. So I need to do that and I need to do laundry. So yeah, I'm trying to get all the cleaning done before they get here. Hopefully that'll happen. Apparently I had some of our glass stuff in the basement. Joe unpacked a box last night and found it. So this is a platter. In our last house, I wanted to hang it on the wall, but we bought two different things to mount it on the wall and both of them didn't work. So I just used it as a platter until then. Um, but I've always wanted to use it as a piece of decoration. I'm gonna see if I can find a safe place to display this instead of just leaving it in a cupboard and using it as a tray. So I tried putting it up there and that was no no. <laughs> so I switched out this platter which is just like kind of a normal platter. It's white and then it has a black edge. And I put all of this kind of stuff on this platter. Harper has been so loud lately. <laughs> I'm sure it's just gonna get worse. But anywho, um, I would have liked to display it a little bit better, but this works. At least it's out and I can see it every day. I'm stalling doing the dishes, but <laughs> um, I just wanted to share with you guys one of my favorite, favorite organizing hacks. So in our first house that we ever bought, it had a little corner pantry like this and so I got one of these shoe holders and I love it because you can put like packets like this like the ranch packets and the taco seasonings in here um, we barely have anything in it right now but <laughs> this is the spray coconut oil you can put Ziploc bags you can put these paper lunch bags there's so many possibilities if you really wanted to, you probably put cans in there. Um, it was a corner pantry, but it was smaller than this one. So this one actually has pretty good storage because it's deeper. 
but the other one was really tight and small and when I hung one of these up I think it eliminated like a shelf and a half I put like the popcorn in here all sorts of things <laughs> I'm gonna put the jello right here boom it's not on the shelf anymore and they're big enough to where like if I had like four of these I could fit all four in one pocket um, so I remember when I first did it, I was like so amazed at how much pantry space it saved. Our last house, we didn't do it just because we didn't have um, a pantry door, we had a cupboard. But in the last house, I did do this and I loved it and we did it again in this house and that is in the utility closet. I hung one up. So we just got these in the mail. I ordered them on Amazon. So everything that's in that basket is the stuff that goes in here, but this held all of our cleaning supplies. So right now I only have a few in there because I need Joe to grab that. That has like all of our bottles and stuff like that in there. I also put things like this in here. Um, I usually have like the first three as cleaning supplies and then like the top one I put stuff like this in there. And then in the last house I had a pocket that had like paper and pencils, pens, scissors, tape, um, hole puncher so there was kind of like an office supplies pocket that I really liked I used a lot so in this house we went a little crazy with it we got four of them so one in the pantry one in the utility closet and then we're putting it's nap time <laughs> we're putting one in the master bedroom closet to put like scarves shoes belts whatever else and then we got one more Joe's gonna put that one in his basement in the storage area and he's gonna put all of his like cords because he has like different cords for different things and so he's gonna label each pocket and it'll say like TV cords video game cords computer cords so that he can keep all of his cords organized so those things are awesome is basically what I'm getting at uncle Chris and aunt Alex are over visiting so we're trying to figure out something fun to do. And Harper's having a blast going between the three of them. It hurts. <laughs> Daddy put Harper in a dress. Well, I think this is cute too. And it's her first time wearing a bow it's the, outside it's of the a, house. The French dress. Yeah, I bought that before she was born because it matched the theme of her bedroom. Um, what are we looking for? I already ordered it. No, she tries it. She's eating straight <laughs> ginger. Why do you like this? With a side of cakes. With a side of cakes. <laughs> Should I see? Uh, I think I like it. Maybe I don't. She eats anything, I this swear. Kid, seriously. I got her for a whole bunch of um, edamame to share with her. So she's not just eating ginger for dinner, although she liked it. Huh? Yeah. Joe created something. I made a sushi roll. I'm calling it the ruby roll. It is a California roll with mango inside, strawberry on top, <clears throat> a fruit cream like sauce. Fruit cream sauce. And um, there was another sauce, but I forgot what it was called. You got crazy hair because your bow fell out. Okay. Can you kiss? Harper, you're not giving me the kisses. Hi. Hi. <laughs> you just touched the camera. See, this is her beautiful dress. It has a, a Eiffel Tower on it somewhere. You know Eiffel Tower. I gave Harper a little piece of my, or a little ah, bite of my ice cream. Zoom in. And she put little teeth marks into it. Okay, let's see which one she goes with. Side by side. <laughs> <laughs> she, she seamlessly went between the two. <laughs> Hey guys, 
Um, Chris and Alex just left probably like an hour ago now. My throat really hurts. I actually think that I have to get my tonsils removed. Um, ever since I was 12, in a very small nutshell, ever since I was 12, I get really random, like sharp, horrible pains in my throat. It's usually on one side or the other. It's usually on this side, like 98% of the time. This time it's on this side. Um, and I just always dealt with it because it only happens like once a month or something. Um, and then last month it got so bad that I finally researched it. It was so bad last month. And I realized, I think it's my tonsils. All of this time, all of this time I've been dealing with it. Um, because then I looked in the back of my throat and it was the side that was hurting last time was really swollen. So I'm like, all of this time. Also, random tidbit. I have been trying to figure out what to do above the fireplace and I haven't been able to figure it out and it just came to me. So I'll share that with you in the next video. Oh, also, Harper walking. <laughs> she has been taking um, like one to three steps. I think that time that she just did it, she took like six steps. And then she even fell down and like got back up and went straight to it. So I think within the next week, she will be full blown walking, which is really exciting or scary. It's only sad she's not crawling anymore. I know, they still crawl around at that, when they learn how to walk. Anywho, um, thank you for watching and I'll see you guys, actually I'll see you on Monday.